Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and I have kind of a weird grocery haul thing happening right now. I actually, okay, so here's the deal. Ricky and Marquise graduated from college on Monday. I'm going to insert a picture right here. I'm so proud of those boys. They did an amazing job. That whole day we were out running around and getting things done. And of course we only have a couple of cars. So we've always got to kind of trade things off and people drop people here and there. So we had to drop them off at practice for the graduation. And then we were waiting for the practice to be done. So Brianna and I decided since we were in town, since we were in the area, we would go to the discount grocery store just to see if there are any great deals out there. And, uh, we found some good deals, so we're going to show you those. But then also, that was that was yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. So I didn't get to film the haul yesterday of the things that I got. I have it right here to show you, but I was just getting ready to film, and my neighbor called me. And my neighbor, if you don't know, she's an older lady. Uh, unfortunately, she lost her daughter several years ago to leukemia and she's raising her granddaughters and uh, people very kindly, I, you know, I actually think she works at a food pantry or somehow is connected to it. Anyway, she gets loads of foods, food from it and anything that her family doesn't really like, she usually calls and gives to us. So she called us and said, hey, I have some food. Do you want to come get it? I said, great. So I actually have a bunch of free food on the table too, which is pretty neat. I, I like it. So um, anyway, so we have this food here from the discount grocery store and the free food from my neighbor. And so I have a bunch, a table full of food and we've only spent $17.33. Of course, this isn't my full grocery haul for the week. I'm still going to go out and spend the rest of my $60. Um, but I just figured this table is already full and I'm going to go shopping on another day. So you get two grocery hauls this week. So let me show you my receipt from my discount grocery store trip and then I'm going to show you everything that I got. Okay, here's the receipt from my discount grocery store and you can see that I spent $17.33. And here's everything that we got on the table. If you hear any rattling in the background, that's because Ricky is making lunch. But I'm going to show you what we have going on here. First of all, I, this is what got me started on buying things at my discount grocery store on the wrong day, okay? They had Halo, bags of Halos for a dollar. I got a bunch of them. I got one, two, three, four bags of Halos. Can you freeze these mandarin oranges? I think you can. Let me know in the comments if you think you can freeze these mandarin oranges. I think if you peel them, you can freeze the individual slices. So let me know what you think. I think they'd be great for smoothies. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe was a dollar. Good deal. Super happy. Peppers. It actually was three peppers for a dollar, but we've already used one. So we've got two peppers left. And there's that. Brianna wanted these large oranges. They were four for a dollar. We've already used one. There's three left. I got this entire bag of garlic, you guys. I don't know if you can see. There's probably ten things of garlic in here for a dollar. Super great. And they're in great shape. Uh, what is this? Roma tomatoes. I didn't realize one had been eaten, but it looks like one has been eaten. And they're, they're eight for a dollar. So I got a bunch of those. I think my husband probably ate those. He loves tomatoes. And these ranch dips, they were two for a dollar. Great tomatoes, 50 cents. Pepperoncini, because I ran out, but we got to have our Mississippi roast, a dollar fifty. Strawberries were a dollar. We actually got two of these, but one's already been eaten, so there's one left. And right here we got this really cool uh, wild berry gluten free buckwheat waffles. So we got these for a dollar fifty. And Ricky's excited to eat those, but let me show you this other box back here. I think I think this might have been the favorite purchase because this box is actually empty. There's nothing in it. I'm just showing you what was in it, and it was gluten-free chocolate donuts. And uh, we all ate these, and they're actually pretty good. The whole box was $1.50, which is actually a crazy good price. So we were super excited about this. But anyway, all of that is what I got from my discount grocery, and everything else on the table here is what I got from my neighbor very kindly gave this to me. So it's kind of random stuff, but you know, I'm always going to use it right here. Some seasoned breadcrumbs and they look really good. So I'll be excited to have that. And then she gave me some 
dessert thin lemon tart uh, crispy biscuits I don't know Brianna loves lemon though so this would be really great for her she gave me this uh, thing of plain white cornmeal perfect I can use that for things for Ricky gluten free there were two things of bread bakery bread so actually I'm making pasta fagioli it's on the menu tonight for Tuesday so I'm actually gonna have the brown bread with it I think I'm just gonna freeze this for now she gave me this thing of corn which looks like it's getting close to needing to be used so we'll probably just boil this tonight and have it with our pasta fagioli because corn is always good she gave us a can of cream sauce sweet corn which my husband loves and some refried beans which we have tacos a lot as you know so perfectly good side dish she gave me a box of the spirals pasta which we actually have a lot of this already so I'll just add it to my collection and then a box of regular mac and cheese which we'll use that as well and this I think Rick is gonna love sliced olives you know we actually have a lot of pizza sauce here and we have our low spend month coming up so I think we're gonna have a lot of pizzas that month so he loves olives on his pizza and this will be really really good for him to have I might even take some of them out and freeze them just because I don't know maybe I, maybe not I don't know because normally if I have a big can and I can't use them all before they get need to be used I'll, I'll freeze some but I don't know we'll see anyway and then the last thing she gave me was in this bag and I have it sitting on a plate and I was surprised when I opened it it is a whole chicken Looks like somebody got a really good deal on it. It is frozen. It is like frozen. So um, I was trying to decide if I wanted to throw it back in the freezer. But I think since it's already been out for a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and thaw it and we'll have it in the next day or so. So this is actually a really kind thing. She probably ran out of freezer space. I can't imagine any other reason why she would have given this to us. But, um, but anyway, I'm super excited about this. Whole chicken, I mean, hey, that's a great deal. So look, all of this came to my house and we only spent $17. That's pretty nice. It's nice to have good neighbors. Look at that. What I really appreciate about this whole situation is that neighbors are sharing. Because, you know, we have made it know, everybody knows that we're grocery people. <laughs> you know, I have four grown men in my house. And oftentimes, if people have something that they're probably not going to eat, probably not going to use, they've acquired it in some way, they'll say, hey, will you guys eat this? I'll give this to you. And I always say yes, because somebody in my house will almost always eat it. And uh, people know that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy to receive it if they have it, because feeding these boys can be expensive. But what I really love, too, is that you know, there's the food pantry involved and people helping people and then people passing that blessing along and just nothing is going to waste. You know, nobody's not, nobody's saying, hey, I won't eat that. I'm going to throw it out. No, it's like, hey, I'm not going to eat that. Let me see if my neighbor wants it because she's got four boys up there. Really sweet gesture. And I think if you guys might have something in your pantry that you're not using, maybe think about asking your neighbor, somebody you know that has lots of kids, or maybe they're going through a difficult time, say, hey, can you use this? And maybe, you know, hey, that stuff's not going to go to waste. So anyway, this is just part one of our grocery haul this week. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, keep your eye out because later this week we're going to have the rest of our grocery haul. Okay, it's Amanda again. And I was editing the grocery haul. And I just wanted to mention to you that you will see part two of the grocery haul tomorrow on Friday. So keep your eye out for that. And I also want to mention to you that tomorrow, Friday for Frugal Family Food, we have the beautiful Sarah, budget girl. She is going to be doing an amazing coffee dish for you. Of course, this is coffee month. Sarah is a coffee fanatic. So she was actually the first person we asked when we knew we were doing coffee month because she is super into coffee and we know it. And uh, when we had our coffee t-shirts, she was like one of the first people on it to buy it. In fact, when we were developing t-shirts, she was like, if you make a coffee shirt, that's mine. So uh, anyway, Sarah's amazing person. She paid off a tremendous amount of student loan debt by keeping to a tight budget. She knows how to be frugal. She was featured on Dave Ramsey's show. Yes, Dave Ramsey, and she did herself a debt-free scream. So you can find that her, on her channel. I'm going to link to her channel up at the top. Make sure you go check her out and subscribe because I know she's got a lot of things there that are going to help you guys save money and uh, help you to make progress financially. So anyway, uh, make sure you check out Sarah's channel. Go ahead and subscribe now. and Tomorrow you'll see her video and see her coffee recipe, and it'll help you have an even better Friday. So anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow, Lord willing, and we will have... Hopefully the rest of our grocery haul. I'm excited to see <laughs> what in the world we find. So, all right, we'll see you then. Bye. Hey, 
Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!